the only thing I can say for now. But I always think that the announcement should be done properly. Uh, sure. By the production house with a nice poster or something. Yeah, not here. But something really? is coming we up. We will talk about the Bhima scheme. <laughs> okay, but something is coming up for sure, which for we sure. all can look forward for sure. to. For sure. Okay. Yeah. So now you said that you want to talk only about Bhima. Okay, and you are also a part of the Bhima family, and also you both come from the same background. Also, Bhima has its roots even in your hometown, right? So how do you associate with the designs and all? Oh. They're very different questions. <laughs> but when I go to my hometown, there's so many posters. I feel like I'm welcoming myself at the airport. <laughs> there's always me. And it says, Bhima welcomes you, but it's me. <laughs> uh, so it's a great feeling. And love the designs. That's uh, uh, It always helps when you love uh, what you do. And that I genuinely think that they have some really unique designs. Okay. So I think my takeaway from this is that Bhima always reflects the beauty of every woman. It's like they are showing how beautiful they are yeah. through their creations. Maybe it's the same with you also because through that you always look at yourself and like, okay, yes, I am being welcomed by myself. <laughs> yeah, it's a great feeling. Thank you. <laughs> so what is the one piece of jewelry which you've had from a very long time which you can't do without? Maybe a lucky oh, charm or a ring. I always wear uh, this ring. Okay. Yeah, this one I always wear. Okay, any any special memory associated with it or something? No, nothing. I just it's something I wear. Maybe diamonds are my favorite. I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> answer I think yeah. By nature, this is what I always end up wearing. I like uh, my solitaire. So I continue to wear that. Maybe it is yeah. <laughs> Although I want to believe I create my own luck. <laughs> oh, I, I really yeah. like that attitude action. Yeah. So any any other questions, sir? So can you say? It's gifted by me. Yes. <laughs> so I'm blind to myself for now, so thank you. It's one the self love and the type of another trend, sir. Self love and the number can I give Nama gift panikano. We should fall in love with ourselves. And the idea that all are on the poor angle. All career oriented women as of now, they have they gift to themselves. They are their prince or princess in the silver yes. armors, right? And it's important to invest in yourself and like, you know, that's the most important thing. You have to do what makes you happy at the end of the day. What better way other than investing in gold and diamonds, yeah. right? <laughs> and the thing is, because I wear, uh, I'm always shooting, so I would love to wear earrings and all that. But then I have to keep changing them because every day I'm shooting and based on the character. But with this ring, I just turn it around like that and then it just looks like a regular <laughs> ring during shoot. But I have something at least. That's like a part of you which can't be separated from yes. your types. Okay. Yes. Sir. Then the question, madam, how you how do you take success and failure in your uh, way? Now? How do you take it, success and failures? Oh, it's I think part of the. It's just part of the regular process. So it's 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 something that just happens. It's uh, you have to uh, continue to do your work and not think so much about the result. Um, for me, it's always been about uh, reinventing myself, creating something new, making sure I am excited about the project that I do um, and put a lot of love. I mean, when I go for a Bhima shoot, technically, I don't need to, I can just go wear the jewelry, finish the shoot and go. But I always think that every product that comes out, whether it's a photo, whether it's a poster, whether it's an ad, should always keep you excited to go to set. So I'm excited to shoot Bhima uh, and create something different because we are artists and uh, success and failure is just part of life. You cannot learn to run without learning to walk and learning to fall. So it's, it's just part of the same, uh, it's just part of the process. So who is a simple question? <laughs> My favorite hero is Shilpakka. <laughs> she and the entire family uh, they have like their grandfather, if I'm not mistaken, has started this has started this business and uh, I think a hero is who you make it to be. So for today it's the Bhima family. <laughs>
Very clever answer and very appropriate also for the occasion. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I always think that your family is has so many heroes. Like for me, my dad and my mom are the biggest heroes because they never taught me by telling me that you should do like this and you should live your life like this. They just did it and I learned it through them on how to live my life, right? And um, it's their hard work I see and I do exactly how I see them do. So they're my heroes and I'm sure for them, their grandfather and their family are. <laughs> yeah. So one complaint which usually men have is that women have a lot of options to choose from, but we poor men don't have many. That's so we true. hardly have any options. So mm -hmm. I want you to put a word to uh, Mrs. Shilpa Bhatt on behalf of all these lovely men here to make more and more nice fancy collection for You know, I have, I'm glad you said that because another favorite piece of mine uh, was the one, I'm going to post it actually, I'll post a picture of the one that I'm talking about, is what my father wore for my brother's uh, yeah wedding. It is, it's such a beautiful, uh, stunning piece which he wore and he felt like the Raja of, you know, some place. So after he wore that jewellery, he started to walk differently and talk differently. <laughs> so I think even men can wear jewellery. I'm going to post a story up today so you all can see what I'm talking about. But it was such a, you know how we think that men shouldn't wear, but it was yeah. such a statement piece which even women can wear. Even my mom could have worn that. Okay. But it was a uni, it was like a, uh, what is it, like a, like it could have gone for men and women, like a unisex kind of a, yeah, piece. So I'm going to post that. So for all the men, check that out. <laughs> yeah, check that out because uh, I think for special occasions, you can definitely wear that. Yeah, so Ellaring Irkinga, and he got a lot of compliments on that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm time. sure Ning Ellarum could have a scheme ported to Ponga. Adatha Varsha Anniversary Kvarambo, the Ning Ellarum or Statement Jewelry ported to Ponga. Bima Statement Jewelry in Salala. Yeah. So, any more questions from anybody? I think we're all out of questions now. We're done. <laughs>